as a video editor, you want to turn your creative ideas from your brain into the timeline. And if you want to do that, you're going to have to master a set of editing tools. One of them is the adjustment layer. Most of us ignore it and I'm guilty of it too. So today you'll learn five awesome things you can do with adjustment layers from easy to advanced. An adjustment layer is basically an empty layer that you can put on top of your videos in the timeline. You can then add effects to the layer and they will be applied to the layers underneath it. Starting with the most easy and common one, which is color grading. Let's say you want to add a specific look to this boxing edit without having to color grade every clip separately. Well, to do that, go to the project window and click on the new item button. Then find adjustment layer. Click on OK and now it will appear right here. Drag it on top of your clips in the timeline. You can extend it so it fits over the clips. Now to start color grading, make sure the adjustment layer is selected. Then go to the window menu on top and find Lumetri color. Once it's open, you can make any adjustment you like. Let's go for a cinematic teal and orange look. To do that, expand the color wheels and scroll down a little bit. First, go to the shadows. Push a little blue or teal into the shadows, then go to the highlights color wheel. In here, push a little orange into the shot. With the sliders on the left of the wheels, you can also adjust the exposure to make the highlights a little brighter and the shadows a little darker. Now, as you can see, the entire color grade is now applied to all of these clips. If you want, you can even play with the opacity line to decrease the opacity of the color grade. That looks cinematic, doesn't it? Speaking of cinematic, trick number two, adjustable black bars. If you add a second adjustment layer, you can use it to create cinematic bars. In the effects library, find the crop effect and drag it on top of the adjustment layer. Then head over to the effect controls and find the crop effect. Use the top and bottom properties to create black bars in your video. This allows you to move around the position of the video that's sitting underneath the video to get a better framing. Now here's a quick bonus trick. If you want to save this as a template, you can do that. Select both clips, the color grade and the black bars as well. Then right click it and choose nest. Now call it teal and orange cinematic or whatever you like. Click on OK. Now you can delete the layers from the timeline. Now don't worry, you'll find it back in the project window. All you need to do is drag it on top of your clips and there you go. Just make sure the insert and override is disabled, otherwise it will just import the nest. And now you can save it in your project template so you never have to make one again. Next we're gonna need some awesome music to put underneath this edit. Now I would like something heavy like Imagine Dragons. Now obviously we can't use it but audio has an AI tool called Link Match. You can put in a link to any song from YouTube, Spotify, TikTok, whatever. For example Believer from Imagine Dragons. And then it will look for a similar song in the audio catalog that you can use in your videos without copyright issues or anything. Let me just pick one of these and drag it underneath my video. Guys, this has saved me so much time. It is incredibly revolutionary. Oh, and Audio is also sponsoring this video. Thank you so much. The main reason I absolutely love Audio is because it doesn't have this generic stock music. The music is made by professional artists who create music specifically for creators like us. And this means that everything on this platform will work well with your content. Now, besides Link Match, you can of course browse the amazing catalog with these incredible filters. That way you will find exactly what you need in no time. Now, if you need some sound effects, Effects, I suggest browsing the featured categories. You'll find whatever you need lightning fast. Oh, and I almost forgot, you can get 70% off from the Audio Pro plan by using the code Premier Basics. So, to level up your creative work, click the link down below. And now, let's get to adjustment layer trick number four, which is an advanced transition like this. Now, to create this effect, drag an adjustment layer on top of two clips. Now, keep in mind, the length of this layer will determine the length of the transition, and also make sure the adjustment layer is sitting in the middle of both clips. Once you have that, go to the effects library and find the VR rotate sphere effect. Drag it on the adjustment layer and make sure it's selected. Then head over to the effect controls and make sure the playhead is on the first frame of the clip. Scroll down a little bit and then go to the tilt property and set a keyframe. Grab the playhead again and go to the end of the clip. Now increase the tilt property to 360 degrees. Now to make this animation smooth, expand the velocity curves and pull the levers of both keyframes to the middle. This will make it start slow, go faster and slow down again. Very very smooth. This looks great, but we're gonna make it look even better by adding chromatic aberrations. To do that, go to the effects library and find the VR chromatic aberrations effect. Then drag it onto your adjustment layer. In the effect controls, 
frames, set the aberration colors to zero. Then add a keyframe to every color and for the fall of distance. Then move the playhead to the end of the clip and again add a keyframe for all the properties. Next grab the playhead and move it to the middle of the animation. Now play around with the colors and fall of distance until you have an image that you like. To finish the transition, expand the velocity curve of the first aberration and create the same curve like we did with the rotate sphere animation. Do that for every one of them. It will only take a minute. That's it. That looks beautiful. Oh, and I actually have a free pack with 30 transitions like this one. I'll leave a link for you guys below. And now adjustment layer trick number five, a text glitch effect. First, drag an adjustment layer on top of your text layer like this. Then go to the effects library and find the transform effect. We're gonna use this to create a stutter effect. Drag it on the adjustment layer and head over to the effect controls. Then move the playhead to the moment where you want the glitch to start. Set a position keyframe. Then move one frame forward and adjust the position randomly. Move another frame forward and again adjust the position to a random position. Then move further in time again and for the last keyframe reset the position back to its original one. Now we have one glitch moment in the animation. You can create multiple if you'd like and yes you can copy and paste keyframes. Next we're gonna make it look a little bit more glitchy. Find the wave warp effect in the effects library and drag it on top of the adjustment layer. Then in the effect controls move the playhead to the keyframe where you started the position animation. On the wave warp effect set the wave type to square and then set the direction to zero degrees to get a horizontal line. Now set a wave height keyframe and increase it to your liking. Then move further in time to the second last keyframe of the transform animation. Then set another keyframe. Move one frame further and set the wave height to zero. This will remove the wave warp effect. Do the same thing for every time the position starts moving. That way the wave warp and the position animation are in sync. It should look something like this but feel free to give it your own touch. And now we're gonna put the sherry on top with some digital glitch effects. In the effects library find the VR digital glitch effect and drag it on the adjustment layer. Then in the effect controls, find the effect and expand the distortion tab. Set the distortion rate to zero. This will remove these artifacts from the text. Next, go to the keyframe where the glitch starts. Then set the color distortion to 100 and grab the playhead. Move further in time. Then set another keyframe and again move one frame further. Now set the distortion to zero. Again, do that for all the glitch keyframes and there you go, you've got yourself a glitch effect. Next, we're gonna create four mind-blowing effects in Premiere Pro from level one to level four. So to continue the lesson click the video right here on my left thank you guys so much for watching and as always stay creative